Hello everyone. A few weeks back I produced a new voice coil for that Grunel 460 radio. And I had a question from one of my uh, subscribers regarding the math behind that. So let's take a look. So let's first take a look at what we know. Again, the DC resistance of the voice coil I was able to measure. And it measured uh, right at 3.3 ohms of DC resistance. So let's look at the five parameters that you need. Again, we've already covered the voice coil DC resistance in ohms at 3.3. And we'll touch more just in a few minutes on the resistance or ohms per foot of the magnet wire. And the gauge magnet wire that I chose, the voice coil diameter and the center pole piece. In my particular radio, the Grunel, as well as that Shanti Clear that I restored um, a while back, I was fortunate enough that the center pole diameter was 0.75 inches. Next is the voice coil diameter. Again, it's increased to 0.76 inches. And again, that just provides enough clearance between the center pole and the voice coil itself. Next, I want to understand what the voice coil circumference is, and that's easily done, again, by taking the voice coil diameter times pi. And you can see the formulas here that I have highlighted to depict that. Next, I looked at the diameter of the wire, knowing it's five mils or five thousandths of an inch, and was looking to see how much room it would take up on the voice coil itself. So you can see here in this calculation, it's about 0.20 inches if I wrap it tightly around the voice coil. The next plug-in number is the voice coil total length. I chose three quarters of an inch. Again, you want to measure the distance or the depth of that center pole piece down to the frame. And again, allow enough room for your coil to move up and down and you want that coil positioned about center ways of that center pole piece. Let's now look at the math itself. I want to figure the DC resistance per turn, and you can see the formula in the bottom left corner. So I'm taking E15 again, which is that plug-in number of 0.4148, which is the 36 gauge ohms per foot. I'm dividing that by 12 to convert that to inches, and then I'm multiplying that by E7, which is the voice coil circumference in inches. And again, that gives me the DC resistance uh, per turn. So let's now take a look at the turns required for the DC resistance that I have highlighted. Again, I'm going to take E16, which is the voice coil DC resistance in ohms of 3.3. And I'm going to divide that by E10, which is the DC resistance per turn. And again, that will give me the turns required of the magnet wire to achieve the desired DC resistance of 3.3 ohms. Now to calculate out the total wire length that you see here, 95.47 inches, I'm going to take E11, which again is the turns required for the DC resistance, times E7, which again is that voice coil circumference in inches. And that will give me again that total wire length that I need for the coil itself. So let me go back and just touch on one thing again. The magnet wire itself, which is 36 gauge, the spec you see there for 5 mils or 5 thousandths of an inch, as well as the 36 gauge resistance in ohms per foot, they're all published numbers. They tie back to a NEMA spec. I think it goes all the way back to 97. And again, that's for copper magnet wire data. So there's lots of resources online that you can go back and catch up on that and uh, do some detailed reading. So I hope you found this helpful. Again, I appreciate you watching and I appreciate my new subscribers out there as well.